Okay, the next casting we're going to look at is this piece here. This is the, uh, the Dunlop Bedford van. And if you've already seen a previous video, you'll, uh, you'll know the routine. We go to Nick Jones and we take a look at the casting. So let's take it to there. Um, so this particular casting is number 25, let's see if we can find 25, so we go to the 20. Alright then, so we'll have a quick look at the uh, 25A, the Bedford van, see what's going on with that particular model. If you notice all my models that I own of this, I've all got the grey crimped wheels on it, so it kind of denotes it's pre-57, well thereabouts, pre-58 at least. Um, I've got this one here, this is the one I, I will be ripping the base off, this is one that uh, I was sent by Mad Viper Spencer, and this is the one I'm hoping to take the wheels from, so the base and the top are pretty mashed as far as paint goes, and also it's, I think it's a little bit tilted slightly as well, and here's the a nice fresh carcass. So let's just see how genuine this carcass is. It looks really, really tidy. Well, tidy enough for the job. Although it, there is a slight, if you look on that, it is a little bit off, off key. You see that tilt there? Something that will need to be addressed when, uh, well, prior to the base going on. You see that there's quite a lot of um, warping going on. Let's have a look at the casting anyway. The Bedford van, Leslie model, you can, you can pause on this if you want to have a look. First issue was released with 10.5 grey metal wheels. First issue was released grey metal wheels which were mounted on flat head axles with crimped ends. Let's have a look at these axles then. I'm saying those ones there, they're domed. And this one here, they are also domed. Good, good for starters. So that puts it into the second area, second issue. Dome with crimped ends, and then the third issue was the same, but having the grey plastic wheels. And there's a fourth version, which had uh, a gloss black base plate and <clears throat> the dome axles with both with both rounded ends on each side. So the base plate on these is presumably a matte base plate. And it's hard to make this one out, but I'm saying matte again for that one. So that puts him into the second release period, those two models. Let's have a look inside this model. There's nothing really inside there to, to go on, but I'm sure uh, Nick Jones will give us some information Anyway. Silver trim was mask sprayed on the later issues, but this has not been included on the variation table. To my knowledge, there were no casting variations on this one. So apart from the wheels and axles, there are not many variations to look for. Apart from the black wheeled model, which is very rare and seldom seen, it is quite a common model. So really, it's all about the grey, grey metal or grey plastic, crimped and domed. And there we see a little description there both boxes and it's all only available in the moco range um, there's only seven variations as well so here we go we've got our metal wheel variations there's two of them um, let's take a look at this one because this is the nicest out of the two uh, blue body matte black base decals silver trim 10.2525 millimeter wheel per inch. Well, I suppose that's inch. Domed crimped. So that means we're on a code two with this particular vehicle. Vehicle. And I'm going to say this is a code two as well. It's going to become the new code two using the base from this one here, which is also what looks like a code two base. So yeah, I've no no compunction. I'll be removing the base from this 
and fitting it to this body. A little bit of uh, manhandling, I'm sure we can come up with something good there. <laughs> This one here is the original donor vehicle. Um, I chose this one because A, it had no paint on it and also the, it was quite quite bent up. Um, yeah, there's the interior, you can see there's not many features to really uh, give it away. As you can see these two pylons here, they support the base and the base on this one was uh, falling through quite easily. So basically I took the wheels from this one which also had the base was ter in terrible condition and I stuck those that base onto the medium condition vehicle. Um, I also stripped that base because it was, I, well I thought it had uh, white rot and it turns out it was just merely blistering and falling off. So whether I'm going to uh, repaint it or not, I'm not sure yet. Uh, this vehicle isn't in too bad a shape but overall. It's pretty straight as you can see there compared to uh, the other one. It's definitely lean to there. Uh, so that's that one. Again, all metal wheels, very, very interesting, nice casting, dome head and crimped axles. So I took the base off this one and I put it on this one. This one was the uh, in the best condition out of all three of them. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. If I wanted to, I mean, I could probably run around with a silver tip brush and just touch it up, but I, I'm tempted to leave it as is for now. As you can see, this is also a dome and crimp, knobbly grey, but with a very nice tidy base on it. Now this particular cast, if you remember rightly, uh, had a severe tilt to it, as in there was no way I would have got this base on. It was actually... Uh, well, <laughs> it wasn't square, let's put it that way. And to square it up, I needed to uh, to put some pressure on each corner. And to do that, I had to use wood and uh, some heavy wood, as it was, and just tap it quite uh, vigorously until uh, I'd achieved some formulation of squareness and was able to fit the base. And as you can see, the base is, uh, is really snug in there and very very nice indeed and there she is a 1956 Dunlop Bedford van <laughs> Thank you.
yesterday I got this parcel in the post from Gabred76 off of Instagram. I'm going to have a quick look inside. Let's see what we've got. Okay, I've opened the packet. Let's pull out the goodies. Okay, so it uh, came through the post, through the post box nonetheless, which is really cool. Um, probably saved on shipping, which is great. Um, I've been following Gabred for quite a while. He's been following me for quite a while too, probably about six, seven months. And uh, basically he likes collecting old cars the same as I do. This is cool. This is a Matchbox, looks like the super fast 260Z 2 plus 2. Awesome. I like these cars. They have the opening doors. This one looks like it needs a little bit of extra love. But uh, it's all there, isn't it? Cool piece. Very cool piece indeed. Yeah. I'll just be posting him some uh, stuff back. He's after station wagons. So uh, let's see what I can find, isn't it? What else we got in here? This is all from Denmark. Did you see? Look at that. Denmark. Ooh. It's another one of these little majorette uh, Mercedes. Yeah, that's nice. It's a uh, Mercedes 190E. Again, nice feature there. Opening doors. I do like these old these old uh, majorettes. I believe, I think Ian Simpson sent me one of these. Unfortunately, it's had the uh, the treatment there. Back in the day, people used to steal the little um, the little tri-cross, whatever you call it, off of the front of those there and wear them around their necks and run around the streets uh, giving big hula signs and playing lots of hip-hop. Oh, that's a great, isn't it? But these, these old cars, you can't beat them. Still got the bounce. And finally, all I did was comment on his um, his page about uh, this car, just saying that I'm after one of these in reasonable condition. And he was really, really kind and uh, sent this to me. And actually, in the in person, it looks a lot nicer than uh, it did in the picture. Very, very pleased about that. Thank you very much, Gabred. I'll be taking some pictures of these and I'll be posting them on Instagram for you. So uh, look out for those. That's beautiful, isn't it? I think, um, yeah, well pleased with that. Awesome. It's the uh, Matchbox Superfast Mercedes 450 from the, the end of the Superfast period. Very nice. All its bits are still there. Thank you very much, Gabred.